get ready. Islands of Adventure opened in Universal Orlando Resort in 1999 and features lands such as Marvel Superhero Island, Jurassic Park, Seuss Landing and more recently Hogsmeade as part of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It has a little bit of something for everyone, from small kids rides right up to huge coasters. But the land we're talking about today is Toon Lagoon and whether or not it should be replaced. Universal have been hesitant to make too many changes to this park with barely anything closing since it originally opened. Additions like Hogsmeade and Skull Island have managed to squeeze in without replacing anything, with the exception of Dueling Dragons. Toon Lagoon has been part of the park since 1999, although many are starting to feel it's a little bit dated. But should it be replaced? Well, here are our thoughts. Get ready. What is Toon Lagoon? Toon Lagoon is a land in Islands of Adventure that features two big water rides, Popeye and Bluto's Build Draft Barges and Dudley do Rides Rips Off Falls. These are the two main water rides in the entire resort and serve a key purpose in that way. While you may get splashed on Jurassic Park River Adventure, you'll absolutely get soaked on these two. They offer a great way to cool down on hot days and the park and resort are better off for them. Not to mention the theming on Popeye in particular is incredible. While many theme parks have a rapids ride and log flume, Popeye might lay claim to being the best themed rapids ride in the world. Rips Off Falls probably has seen better days though. Outside of the rides, there is an area featuring some restaurants and shops. This area features old fashioned cartoons like Betty Boop and Flash Gordon. While Jurassic Park and Harry Potter continue to remain in the pop culture limelight, these old cartoons, Popeye included, have begun to fade from memory. That's not to say they should be forgotten though, but should they have their very own island? Should Toon Lagoon be replaced? There's a couple of reasons why Toon Lagoon gets mentioned any time a land replacement is discussed in this park. Aside from the characters and rides feeling dated, it's a huge land if you look at it on a map. Not only do the two rides take up a lot of real estate, but there's an amphitheatre in the land too which mostly goes unused and has never been home to a landmark show. With the land occupying about as much space as Hogmeade's, we think it's a fair point that its existence should come under question. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter is a huge pull factor for Universal Orlando Resort. We're not so sure that many people would visit the resort for Toon Lagoon specifically. But we should stress, the water rides are a great addition to the park and should continue to exist in some form. We enjoy these rides and would like to see a theming overhaul if it meant the rides themselves could stay. A new theme for this entire land could allow for the two water rides to stay and for a brand new ride to be built where the amphitheatre is. Or perhaps a landmark show could go in there. We've seen Universal re-theme Dueling Dragons to become Dragon Challenge to suit the Harry Potter theming, so we know this is something that they could consider. What should replace Toon Lagoon? We know Universal love to build intellectual property rides in their parks, with no expense spared. They have bought the license to the likes of Harry Potter and Transformers from Warner Brothers and Paramount respectively. They've also capitalised on their own hits with the likes of Jurassic Park and Despicable Me featuring in the parks. So what replaces Toon Lagoon? As long as it's not Disney owned, the possibilities are pretty endless. Here are some of our considerations. Lord of the Rings and Middle Earth. This rumour gets swirled at least once a year and for good reason. Lord of the Rings is a hugely popular book and film franchise that was rivaling Harry Potter at the box office in the early 2000s. Despite now being 20 years old, the films are still relevant and hardly feel dated at all. The world that the books and films exist in lend itself really well to a theme park land and wouldn't rely too heavily on specific actors and actresses that may eventually date the franchise. We're looking at you Daniel Radcliffe. Off the bat, the Rapids ride could be Hobbit themed and follow the story of the dwarves escaping the dungeons in barrels. But with the new Lord of the Rings TV series in production by Amazon Studios, we're not so sure a theme park land will happen anytime soon. Illumination Land Maybe the area can still feature cartoons, but a new generation of them. Illumination is a subsidiary of Universal Pictures and are responsible for Despicable Me and Minions. While those films already have their home in Universal Studios Florida, Illumination have many other films that could lend themselves well to a theme park land. The Secret Life of Pets has its very own dark ride in Universal Studios Hollywood and we can expect that to arrive in Florida at some point in the future. Maybe Toon Lagoon is the perfect land for it and other films like Sing could find a home here too. Illumination will no doubt release more original films in the future, which could feature in this evolved Toon Lagoon. 
DreamWorks land. On the topic of new generation of cartoons, DreamWorks is also owned by Universal and have many established film franchises. Shrek has been a mainstay in Universal since 2003, and we know that a How to Train Your Dragon Land is coming to Universal's forthcoming epic universe, a brand new theme park opening in the near future. But other hugely successful film franchises like Kung Fu Panda and Madagascar have no presence in Universal Orlando Resort. Perhaps Toon Lagoon could be redeveloped to feature these characters. Although, with these films getting on in age and a newer How to Train Your Dragon getting its own land, a DreamWorks overhaul of Toon Lagoon seems unlikely. Jumanji Okay, we're going out on a limb here, but hear us out. Jumanji was initially a film that came out in 1995 and was hugely popular at the time. A less popular sequel called Zathura was released in 2005. In 2017, the franchise was rebooted with two successful films starring Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart and Jack Black, with another film in the works as of this video. The jungle theme and chaotic nature of Jumanji films would suit what Toon Lagoon could become. The two water rides could easily fit in with the jungle theme, and a further ride could be added. Jumanji is owned by Sony and Columbia Pictures, but Universal could buy the licensing for theme park use like they have with other franchises. Jumanji has been a part of pop culture for over 25 years, so they don't need to worry too much about it becoming dated. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our Hidden Gems and Islands of Adventure video on screen now. Overall, we like Toon Lagoon, but probably think it needs freshening up. We'd love to see any of the franchises above featured in Islands of Adventure, if we're honest. What would you like to see replace Toon Lagoon? Or do you like it the way it is? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. And now you're ready.